Hi guys, how you doing? And welcome to the Tat Cave. If I just spin around, that's the usual view you have. Um, I was just watching a video actually, um, whilst I was putting together, if I swing around this way, these last two FBA boxes. I've done four huge boxes today. I've been really trying to get rid of a massive haul of um, FBA stock that we picked up in the January sales. There will be a video coming of that lot as well. But yeah, I was just, just finishing these off and I was watching um, Texas Girl Treasures, Margaret, who was talking about how she's pulling out of Amazon FBA and I just thought it's quite amazing how everyone's journey is so different because I'm really throwing the kitchen sink at FBA right now, sending loads and loads of stuff up. But having said that, you will have seen by the title, I actually kind of had a bit of a spring clean at Amazon FBA. Um, I've been doing FBA now for, I guess it's a year and a half, and I've been experimenting the whole time with different stuff, seeing what sells, what doesn't. Most of the stuff I've sent up has done well, but obviously there's gonna be products that don't sell, things that didn't work out. I had some sealed media sent back a couple of weeks ago that I looked into and saw that what just wasn't selling and I looked at the sales history of those products and there just wasn't many sales coming in on Amazon. Checked it on eBay and they seemed to be selling well so I had a load of stuff recalled to me here the other week, stuck it on eBay and it sold well. And then of course there's the new fee structure thing coming so I thought now's a good time to go through my entire inventory after Christmas. We cleared so much stock, we cleared like two thirds of our entire inventory up there through November, December. What was left, I went through, marked a whole load of stuff down, which has been fantastic. We've had loads of sales. And then I went through with a fine tooth comb and pulled a load of stuff out. That stuff has been arriving. If I spin around this way, there's a stack of boxes there. So I thought I'd just make a video and show you what's come back. I can't really remember what's coming back. I just went through it all and picked out a load of stuff for various reasons that I wanted to have sent back to me. So yeah, I've opened the boxes to save time on that, but I've not been through it all yet. So you can discover with me what's coming back. I'm sure I'll remember as I find it. Hopefully it'll be interesting. And uh, yeah, I can share that with you. So that's the plan. I'm gonna set the uh, camera up on a tripod and we'll see what's come home. Okay, right, let's bash through this. There's one, two, three, four, five, there's six packages, so I'm gonna crack through it pretty quick. All right, first one, we have Japanese for Dummies, uh, book and CD. Wasn't selling, looked into it, there was loads and loads of people, way cheaper than I was. Lots of FBA sellers come in beneath me, I think, on this one. Um, so yeah, had it recalled, gonna stick it on eBay. If it's worth doing, I'll have to look into that. If it's not, I'll just give it to charity. Ah, these, I had a load of these. These I bought in a pound shop um, uh, ages ago, like before Christmas, before this Christmas, if you see what I mean. So a year and a bit ago. Uh, Top of the Pops 50th anniversary books. So they cost me a pound. I sent them in. I thought I had more than this. There might be some in other boxes. Um, yeah, I sold, they're sort of a pound each. I remember I sold one straight away. When I sent them in, they had a pretty good price. There weren't many other people doing them. And I think I sold one for like 10 pounds or 12 pounds or something. And then they just sat there and people were undercutting me. Amazon had them as well and they were priced higher but they kept the buy box to themselves. It didn't matter how cheap you were, you would never get the buy box. Um, so they sat there and sat there. Other people were just undercutting and undercutting. So yeah, I looked at them. The sales rank had just petered out as well, I think on these. So yeah, made the decision, pull them out. I will have a go at shifting them on eBay. Um, but to be honest with that first sale, I've probably very near broken even anyway. So it's hardly, the end of the world, but that was a bit of a fail. Uh, next one, like I said, I've, I've opened these, but not, oh, here we go. This is more Top of the Pops. Top of the Pops, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think, I seem to remember I had 10, so I might have sold three. I'm probably in profit on the lot anyway. Um, 
I sold, I said definitely sold one for about a tenner when they first went up, and I think I sold a couple at, at cheaper, you know, when I marked them down to try and compete. So, yeah, there we go, all labelled up, of course, for FBA. So, I've got a load of those, really don't know what I'm going to do with those now. There is a bookshop in Hitchin that buys books off you. Whether they'd be bothered about those, really don't know. So that's second parcel. Third one, let's see what's in here. We have more books by the look of it. <clears throat> okay, let's put all this paperwork out of the way. Crystal, now this, I'm pretty sure I sent up with my first ever box of stuff. Um, I bagged it for whatever reason. I think I was a bit over cautious in the beginning and I was bagging pretty much everything. This was just a second hand book. Yes, I think it was a used one. Yeah, it must have been. Uh, about crystals. And I sent it in, it had a high rank. And when I revisited it and looked at it again, the rank was in the millions. So I think it, the rank had just escalated and it just never sold. So there was just, you know, catch chance in hell. Is that even a phrase? It was never gonna sell. So I had that recalled. I would imagine that I will just give that to charity. A uh, couple more Poundland pickups. I've done fairly well on Poundland books at Amazon, but you have to be super, super selective. As this shows, many just, they're obviously being cleared by warehouses or whatever, so they're, they're finding their way onto FBA. I think that's the, the thing with this. Um, so the prices might be good initially, but when everyone finds out that they're being cleared all over the place, you're not the only one picking them up. So this was the same story as those Top of the Pops ones. This uh, is a pregnancy book, You and Your Bump. I think I may have more of these in other boxes. I'm pretty sure I have more than two. Sold a couple again, but it got so cutthroat with prices and there were so many sellers selling it ridiculously cheap where there was like no margin left. So I just pulled them. Another book, this was an old book, Bombers. Just wasn't selling and the rank was appalling and yep, yeah, pulled it. So that's that one. Next box. Oh, I can hear board games. Oh yeah, yeah, these were a waste of time. Um, people were selling these so low. After I sent them up, loads of people jumped on this. It's a crap game anyway. Um, Monopoly Junior. It's not worth bothering with. Um, but I sent a couple up. I did do okay, not this Christmas, but Christmas before I managed to sell a few at FBA. Picked a few up in the summer, remembering that I'd managed to sell them up there. But this year there were so many people on it and they were selling them stupid cheap. After the FBA fees, there would, there would have been no margin in. So anyway, I had those recalled. I don't know why the, the little, I put these on some games, this is how I do it. Just put a strip of paper around to hold it together. That one has obviously come off in the warehouse, come back to me unsealed. So anyway, two Monopoly Juniors. They, I will probably chuck on eBay for like a fiver max, because that's all it's worth, and just get shot of them. If not, I'll give them to charity. Two Nerf guns. I, I tried sending Nerf guns up second hand like this. These are all bagged, because um, they don't have the original packaging. Some stuff went okay, but these were just sitting there. Um, and the rank was just getting bigger and bigger and they weren't getting picked off. And I decided to pull them because I think as a pair on eBay, um, they'll sell better. So that's the plan with those. Stick them on eBay as a pair. Big box. This one. We have more books. Oh, this was a Cockney War Stories book. I think that might have been another Poundland one, but it, the rank was just spiralling and it, they weren't selling, so I've had it recalled. I'll stick it on eBay. Um, another one there, just a book that was never going to sell. A Another board, well, not really a board game. Tommy Rock and Roll Maze. Um, yeah, sent this up with a load of other bigger board games and just to really test the water and some did well and some didn't. I reduced some stuff and got it shifted. This, it, 
there just wasn't any interest. It had a terrible rank, didn't seem to be selling at all. So I'm just going to try my luck on eBay with that, I guess. That's that one. And then we've got... These were from Wilkinson's. Um, they were 10 pence a pack. They, they were clearing a load, there was like a load of end of line um, station. It was either 10p or 50p. Can't remember, I got a load of stuff. But these zebra pens, I scanned into Amazon and they had okay value. And because they were so cheap, I didn't t worry too much about the rank. But yeah, I should have looked at the rank because they just weren't selling. There's just no sales history and they weren't shifting. So I've had them recalled because on eBay, I think as a bundle, I could do okay. So I pulled those out. Um, our random GBA game that I sent in. This is Earthworm Gym. It's just been sat there for ages. Loads of people selling it really cheap. Um, but I think that will shift better on eBay. So let's come back. Some of these really obscure Sony tapes I sent up. I've done super, super well on some of this sort of stuff, like, like your more camcorder tapes and videos and stuff. But these, it was a bit of an experiment and they didn't shift. I sold a job lot of, I think it was these ones, not long ago, cleared the lot on eBay that I had. Don't know what I'm gonna do with those two now. Uh, but I was, I was selling them for like a pound each or something in a big bundle just to get shot. Uh, and those I've still got a stack of that are listed on eBay. They're just so obsolete, nobody wants them. Um, so yeah, they didn't sell at all. Uh, Faith No More, triple CD, best of. For some reason on Amazon these just are not selling, but on eBay I looked at it and it seems to tick along pretty well on eBay. So I'm just gonna chuck that straight on eBay. Uh, a few games that have just sat up there for ages and you know, so many people selling them dirt cheap now. It's not worth bothering with. There's that Ben 10 one on both different Nintendo formats there, old formats Wii and DS. So again, I'm just gonna chuck them on eBay and hopefully get a sale that way. Harry Potter cassette pack. I sent two or three of these up. Um, this one, for whatever reason, was just sat around for blooming ages and loads of competition on the listing and it just didn't look like it was ever going to shift so yeah pulled that oh this i'd sent up and people were selling it like fba they were selling it for like a couple of pounds there's just no margin in that after fees um and you just can't compete and some of the sellers that were below me on this had huge volumes of it out there so yeah just got rid of it that's that Right, one more box. It's a heavy one. Last box. And we have a board game which just sat there and sat there, waste of time. Um, trouble with this is it was superseded by another version with Stephen Fry and now it's been superseded by the new version which has Sandy Toxvig as the presenter on the box. And, you know, the interest in this has just faded and faded and people are just price cutting and, and fighting over trying to shift them. And it's, yeah. Again, the, the seal that would have been around this that I put on has vanished. Look at the dust on it as well. But if you can see, it's just it's been sat up there for probably a year or more. So, yeah, that I doubt is even worth putting on eBay. I expect that will just be given to charity. Uh, software just wasn't shifting, didn't look like it ever would. Might try it on eBay. Batfink DVD collection has sat up there for ages. Um, I looked on eBay and they seem to sell regularly on eBay, so I'm just going to chuck it on there. Um, I loved that show back in the 80s. Send me a message if you remember Batfink. And he had like a little cohort, his little um, sidekick guy. If you remember his name, drop it below. Um, yeah, and then a few more other random bits. What have we got? Dragon Ball Z DVD series. 
had a colossal rank on Amazon, didn't seem to be selling at all. Thought I'd take my chances on eBay with it now. It's just been up there long enough. Um, this was an odd one. It's a double Disney pack. So you've got Cars and Buzz Lightyear, like two Cars spin-off films. But the Amazon listing, I don't know if it was like it when I sent it up, but it didn't have a photograph. It didn't have an image. Um, it was really odd. So, yeah, and the rank had got silly on it. So, yeah, had it recalled. I'll just stick it as part of a bundle or something. A uh, couple more books that were just a waste of time. So, yeah, don't know what I'll do with those. More books that were... Oh, there's another one of those, your bump ones. And another one. A uh, couple of books about cycling, racing hard, where similar story, when I sent it up, it had a reasonable price and seemed to be selling, and then it just got crazy competitive and, and the rank just didn't improve and they were just going to sit there forever, so they came home. I don't know what I will do with them. I am struggling to find space now. Uh. Last couple of bits, another GBA game, Finding Nemo, don't know what I'll do with that. A Sony starter kit, um, yeah, was going nowhere fast. Um, but I had a look around on eBay and I think it's just a better market for this on eBay. On Amazon it seems if you're looking for this sort of thing, it will throw up what it thinks are the right things. You know, if you search for this, it's like you'd find a hundred products before it. It's just buried in the listings. You know what I mean? I don't know how you'd find this because the rank was so bad. Whereas on eBay, I think if you searched Sony Handycam bag, you know, I could use those keywords and, and this would come up and start a kit and what have you. I don't know. I think sometimes eBay is just better for people to be able to find your stuff in some ways. So anyway, that's the plan with that one. Uh, that's brand new. It was part of that big sealed media haul I had. So yeah, stick that on eBay. Another book that was going nowhere fast, napkin folding. I don't even remember having that. Don't remember buying it, don't remember sending it in. That's bizarre, I literally had no memory of that. Draw 50 cats. Yeah. Vaguely remember sending that in. Again, it, the rank had gone silly and the people were selling it ridiculously cheap, so there's no point competing. This one, another Poundland one, I bought a big stack of these, like 10 or so of these, and shifted loads of them. Um, and then it got really competitive and I reduced the price and shifted a load more. And then when I had this clear out, there was one left and I just, by then, to compete with the people that were undercutting, it was only about three or four pounds. So it didn't seem worth it. After FBA, you were, there was no margin left at all. So I thought I would have this record and stick it on eBay. He's got a new album out and is kind of in again right now. So we'll try that. Anyway, that is what I have had recalled. Um, my plan is at the end of this month, I think, I will go through it all again. I marked so much stuff down and I've cleared loads, but I will go through again and I think I'll get another load of stuff sent back. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I hope that was interesting. I don't know. I did see somebody else do a very similar video and I found it fascinating for some weird reason. So, yeah, I hope that was interesting. Uh, if you did enjoy it, give it a thumbs up and uh, I'll speak to you guys soon. Bye for now.